What is up guys? Welcome back to yet another brand new Major Ben Gaming video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day as always. And today we're actually going to be talking about the Jedi uh, series, I guess Jedi Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor. We're actually re getting confirmation that Respawn is working on the final chapter in the Star Wars Jedi series. The upcoming Star Wars Jedi game will serve as the final installment in the series, confirmed by EA President Laura Mele. Mele? You know, that name anyway. Respawn Entertainment, let me zoom this in a bit so you guys can actually read better. Respawn Entertainment, the developers behind the Jedi games, has been successful with over 40 million players. This game is phenomenal, both of them, if you haven't played them already. Uh, definitely go check them out if you want to. Speculations arise about Cal Kestis' dark journey and a new director for the final chapter after the departure of Stig Asmus Asmussen. Asmussen. I, some, I'm sorry, I'm trying my best. Uh, the newly confirmed sequel to Star Wars Jedi Survivor will be the final chapter in the series, at least according to EA. Titanfall developer Respawn Entertainment impressed Star Wars fans in 2019 sorry, with Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, introducing players to former Jedi Padawan Cal Kestis as he rekindled his connection to the Force during the height of the Empire's resign, uh, reign sorry, across the galaxy. My reading is not good today. Um, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, in my personal opinion, was the better between the two games. Most people say the opposite, so don't listen to me, I'm just giving my opinion, of course. Um, I loved how simplistic the first one was with not overly massive worlds. I kind of just enjoyed exploring the, the more linear paths. I kind of like linear games, considering we get so many open world games these days. I kind of do enjoy just diving into some more linear games uh, sometimes compared to others. But anyway, that's that's uh, the first part. So next came last year's obviously Star Wars Jedi Survivor, which followed up with Cal searching for a safe haven for the remaining Jedi while staying one step ahead of the Imperials. Both Star Wars Jedi games Games have been well received so far and there have been plenty of rumors that Respawn is already working on the next installment in its Force Powered Trilogy. Recent job uh, postings of a developer have suggested that Respawn is looking to fill various positions for a mystery project that could very well be the next Star Wars Jedi sequel, even with EA remaining tight-lived about its existence up until now. During EA's recent Investor Day 2024 conference, EA Entertainment and Technology President Laura Miele confirmed that not only is Respawn working on a new Star Wars Jedi game, but it will serve as the concluding chapter in the series in a true Star Wars fashion, hopefully original, not Disney. Uh, as reported by Insider Gaming, Miele stated that Respawn was working hard to bring the final chapter of this thrilling story to players. No further information about this th uh, third and final entry was re revealed during the event so it has officially been confirmed anyway let's talk about just this last bit uh, Laura Miele went on to note that the previous two Star Wars Jedi games have been successful with gamers gaining over 40 million players and making over five billion dollars in net bookings since the release of Fallen Order back in 2019 last year versions of Star Wars Jedi Survivor launched on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One earlier this week likely adding to this number as Respawn and EA shift their focus towards the future of the saga. Uh, what the future holds is still up in the air and there has been plenty of speculation about the next Star Wars Jedi game's story, the events and the previous two games have left players feeling that Cal's journey could take a darker turn in his final chapters. An idea that his actor Cameron Mo um, Monaghan, Monaghan? I, I always get, I always can't pronounce people's names, has expressed interest in exploring the past. What is known is that the eventual follow-up to Star Wars Jedi Survivor will be helmed by a different director as Stig Asmussen departed from Respawn to form his own studio last year, which is also something else that's very interesting. And I look forward to seeing what their, that studio does. Um, but yes, I agree. I think we could see some like a darker side of Cal because you had, I mean, it's uh, you're gonna have to forgive me it's a little bit hazy the previous game uh, but towards the end i believe you if you don't want to spoil just click off the video now but towards the end of the game you kind of did dip into the darker sides of the force and um that you kind of had these almost superpowers and you kind of just destroyed everybody very easy with these cool abilities so they already hinted at that in the previous game that you've got this kind of darker side but the game was phenomenal i think um i'm trying to think what i would like to see improved in terms because we can't really talk about story we don't know anything from a gameplay perspective what would i personally like to see improved and for me it's kind of 
For one thing, I mean, we're going to be on PS5 Pro by then, or maybe even the next gen systems. We don't know when this game is actually going to come out or anything, but graphically, I'm really looking forward to having a better graphics uh, game with less haze from FSR and stuff like that. Certainly on PS5 Pro, that's going to be something that's good. So I'm excited from that point of view. Um, I really, really hope that they get this game at launch just not full of bugs and problems and bad performance because it's just disappointing for everybody, especially the PC guys. I tested this game on PC at very early at launch, even with a 4090 and a 12900K with everything on Ultra. I agree, everything Ultra, but this is a 4090, a 2000 pound graphics card, uh, especially back then when this game launched. Um, yeah, a lot of FPS problems, struggling to hit 60 frames at all in all of the game. And and again, they didn't have stuff like frame generation added to this title at launch. It was They do now, but it wasn't in there at launch. So I hope we get a lot of features and better uh, graphics and things like that. Gameplay wise, I think the gameplay is solid. I actually really enjoy the mechanics of the game, the force abilities. I like the different stances that you have. The skill trees are pretty decent as well. Uh, I think that almost, um, in my opinion, the worlds are too big now. I think a lot of people don't like that. I, uh, I, I mean, sorry, I think a lot of people won't agree with me here, but I don't like over exploring for puzzles and doing stuff like that. I feel like it's just the very usual EA stuff and Ubisoft stuff. And I get very bored of co constantly having every game open world. And for me, some someone who really enjoyed a game like Lies of P, I know it's a very different type of game in a way, but I love linear games where you don't feel like you're constantly missing out on items you know when you're just following a linear thing you have other paths you can go and check out but they're not massive and it takes you way off what you were doing so I, I think for me I just prefer that kind of thing as somebody who's getting older and doesn't have unlimited time to spend on a game like this and somebody who likes to like fully complete and platinum games to get the full story doing games like this now take a very very long time because everything is so open world so I don't know you guys will probably completely disagree on that I think it depends what position you're in in real life whether you've got loads of time to go explore or every avenue of all these different planets um you know it's it's kind of difficult to to get time to do everything but uh very interested very excited can't wait to get my hands on these games i like both of the games again the first one for me i think maybe it was the time as well this game came out it was just kind of a really cool time and i just have very fond memories of that time so i think that also helps for my my favoritism of the first game but i'm excited for everything it's going to be really really cool and uh, i can't wait to see where the the next journey is going to take us on this adventure so thank you very much for watching please leave a like subscribe and uh, I hope to see you guys in more videos. I think there's been a lot of videos coming out around this time. So uh, apologies for like the, the constant uploading, but there's a lot of news happening and a lot of interesting things right now that I want to talk about. So uh, thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe. See you in future videos. Bye-bye for now.